Welcome Sagittarius and cross watchers. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 8th through the 15th. I am using the Steampunk Tarot deck today. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and leave the rest. With that, let's begin. Looks like we have the Page of Wands, someone wanting to come in passionately with a message. And it looks like it's this King of Cups. The King of Cups is someone who's in control of his emotions. So someone is coming in passionately, but he is in control of his emotion. And he's lo it's looking like he's wanting to balance something find his balance in this with the the two of pentacles two of pentacles could be juggling but in this case it looks like he's trying to find balance he's coming in passionately wanting to speak to somebody sending a message trying to manifest something with the magician here this is air he has the sword he has the wand he has the cup and he has the pentacle so he has everything he needs for a new beginning so under that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. He's wanting to work on something. He's working on that pinnacle where he's wanting to work on something. He's wanting to send a message about something. He's wanting to work on and balance out something. He's coming in with that pinnacle. He's got a pinnacle there that he's focused on, and it's right here in his hand. It could be an apology with the Knight of Pentacles. He's wanting to come in and apologize. Or he's, it's the slowest moving knight in the deck but he does cross the finish line. So he's wanting to come in with something solid, something that you can feel, something that you can touch. Could be an apology, though. Okay, and it looks like with the Hermit card here, the Hermit is... I got stuck here. Hold on one second. The Hermit is Virgo. He's wanting to shed some light on something. He's gone within about something, and he's wanting to shed some light on something. He's wanting to apologize and shed some light on something. And under that, we have the Knight of Cups. A lot of knights here. This is an offer of love coming in. Somebody's wanting to come in and offer their cup. But under that, we have the Tower. Something was built on shaky ground so this could be the past something that he's wanting to come in passionately about was that something ended suddenly there was a sudden ending there was a crumbling foundation something that was not built on stable ground but all along he's held on with this four of pentacles he's either held on to his money or he's held on to this relationship so he's holding on to something and he's had to make a head over heart decision about something with the two of swords. Or he's had to cut something out. Could be either one. He, he could have had to cut something out. And that's what it looks like. This is a queen of wands here that he had to cut out this queen of wands. This is a passionate woman. So he had to make a decision to cut her out. Because this relationship with the Four of Wands, this is fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. This was, he's cutting out this relationship with her. Because it came to an end with the Ten of Swords here. Something came to a sudden, or a, a painful ending. Someone was stabbed in the back. There's Ten Swords in that guy's back. So he had to make a decision to cut her out of the relationship, cut a relationship out with her. And it was fated because this is the will of fortune. This could be, it's, could be luck. It could be the, the will of fortune's moving. It's turning when, when something bad happens, it starts to turn. Um, but this could be an ending. This, is, this could be a fated ending. Now he's coming in to speak his truth. There's a truthful new beginning here. And he's wanting to work on something with somebody. He's wanting to collaborate.
and he's sending a lot of messages out here with the Eight of Wands. Back and forth communication could be on the internet, could be text, could be phone calls. This is He's coming in as the King of Wands. King of Wands is a very charismatic, passionate, outdoorsy guy. Good looking, very good looking. He's coming in very passionately here and standing his ground because there was an ending, this ending. He's standing his ground about that ending with the Seven of Wands and about leaving somebody out in the cold. He ghosted somebody. It was an ending. He had to make that decision to end that relationship with her because it was faded. And he left her out in the cold. So at the bottom of the deck, I have both the Emperor, which is Aries, and the King of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. He's a very stubborn, older man, set in his ways. It's his way or the highway. He made that decision. And now he's coming in truthful because the King of Swords is a very truthful man, but he's strategic about how he does things. But he's very truthful. So he was stubborn in the past, possibly. And now he's coming in to speak a truth about something, about an ending, which is the world card. This is an ending for a, so something new can begin. Or it could be at a distance. And here we have the hangman, but he's feeling very stuck. He's feeling bound to this with the hangman. And the eight of swords, he's feeling very up in his head, a lot of thinking, a lot of thoughts. He's got a blindfold on. This is, this is definitely all up in his head about something, feeling, feeling trapped and feeling stuck because of this ending. Wanting to send a message of love to her. This could be the true, a true pair with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands on the board. But wanting to send a message of love to her. And have a victory with the Six of Wands. And move this forward with the Chariot. This is Cancer. Moving this forward very quickly. To somebody in his past with the Six of Cups. The past, past life soulmate, past life relationship could be a true pair, someone from his past. And needing strength to do so. So I'm going to end it here with the, this is Leo. If this resonated with you, Sagittarius, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons and leave me a comment on how it resonated with you. Until next time, have a great day.